Hi there, this is Rosie from Nona Stitching Lounge. Thanks for coming by. I just thought I'd do a quick video um, because I got a package in the mail and so I'm really excited. Um, I got my very, very first Mary Maxim package. Um, after watching a lot of openings, um, you can hear the ambulance, I think. After watching a lot of package openings last month, I decided that I was going to um, subscribe to the Mary Maxim uh, knit, uh, crocheting package and I'm in Canada so I am going to open I haven't opened it yet I just opened the package so I don't know what's in here yet I don't know what the colors are yet so I'm going to open it in front of you guys and um, so I was pretty excited because um, first of all I want to thank all my new subscribers I think I can't I couldn't believe it when I saw it I got home from work about an hour ago and I looked um, and I saw that I had like 90 subscribers and I'm like, oh my God, what happened? And then I realized that Rose uh, from Rose Likes Crochet, uh, I guess gave me a shout out and a lot of you came over to watch. So thanks Rose, you're wonderful. And um, hopefully maybe one day we'll meet if I ever come to Illinois. Um, and so, so excited. Um, and then I looked at my mail, my personal mail, and it showed that I had a package. So I'm like, so this is supposed to be the February package, not the March package. So I don't know. Um, anyway, I ordered it February 4th. So I'm waiting all of February, waiting for February's package. Maybe it was too late for February. I don't know. So I'm not sure if this is February or March. I don't know. I'm, pre I'm, I'm thinking that March is too soon. But anyway, so I haven't opened it yet. So I was really excited. And um, so I don't know if I, I don't think I told you the story before that uh, I work in downtown Toronto, and up until three and a half years ago, uh, my husband and I lived in a, one of Toronto's suburbs. So I was taking the train into work uh, an hour a day, uh, actually an hour one way, so two hours a day. And uh, four years ago, we decided that we were going to buy a condo in uh, just outside of Toronto. So for those of you that know Brooklyn versus New York City, we're kind of like the Brooklyn of Toronto. Anyway, so... <laughs> That's just kind of for Americans um, to kind of understand. So um, we have five children between us. So I have three boys. My husband has a boy and a girl, and they're all between the ages of 31 and 24. Um, and so when we had our big house in the suburbs, uh, they all kind of lived with us at one point or the other. They would leave. They would come back. And then when they came back, it was with more than them just themselves. Um, so we started getting tired of this, uh, always having kids coming in and leaving. Um, so we decided to move and we moved and we told them, oh, by the way, we're, uh, selling the house and we're moving into a two bedroom condo. And they're going, oh, no, you aren't. And we said, yes, we are. And, uh, I think once we started moving boxes out of the house, they finally figured that we really actually were doing that. So, um, the reason I'm telling you this story is the one thing I love about moving, uh, living in a condo is, um, besides not having all those kids around all the time, is um, having a concierge. So whenever a package is delivered, it goes to the front desk concierge and has our, or I should put my address on it. Uh, you'll see my address. And um, so I get so excited when I, um, I said, you know, there's a package so I can run down to the lobby and get my package. Um, so my husband who, um, got home just after I got the notice of the package, he, I said, Oh, I got a package. I'm going to go down and get this package. And it's so exciting. And he goes, Oh my God, is it more yarn? <laughs> so I don't know who else gets those. Oh my God. Are you kidding me? Um, so his favorite line is probably from Seinfeld. He says, okay, you need help. You need a lot of help. And all I could say was, well, you haven't seen all the people that have subscribed to me or the people I watch, because if I need help, they need even more help. But we know we're yarn hoarders. We know we're crocheaholics. We know that all that stuff. So anyway, help isn't going to help, right? So anyway, enough about me, enough about my 
my chit chatting, but as you can see, I'm really excited. So I'm going to now open my package. All right. Put my glasses on. Um, as you can see, it says Mary Maxim. It um, doesn't, well, let's see what this says, the invoice. It says, oh, it's a February blankie and hat crochet club. So I'm in Canada, which means this is the Canadian version. And the Canadian version isn't always, isn't the same as the American version. Now, I have to tell you, I paid a lot in shipping. So I know that, I know, I'm, I'm delaying showing you the, the yarn. But the, um, the American version is $12 plus, I don't know, $5 shipping. So you Americans pay like 20 bucks. The Canadian version is $16.99, so $17 plus $12 in shipping. How is that possible? Mary Maxim is at 75 Scott Avenue, Paris, Ontario. It is an hour and a half or maybe two hours west of Toronto. And I'm paying more shipping than the Americans. I don't get it. And I'm paying, I, and I'm paying, um, yeah, $12 in shipping, eleven ninety in shipping. So I'm paying like $32 for the same package that the Americans are paying $20. Anyway, so it better be worth $32. That's all I can say. So here we go. Oh, that's pretty. So here it is. Yeah, you can see the picture on here. Can you see the picture? So it's a little hat with a little blankie. Very cute. Um, it, oh, it, and it comes with, oh, with those um, bags that everybody likes. Those uh, little, like, you know, like the sheet bags. So that's kind of cute. And so it's with the trend, what is it? Can you see this way? Trendy baby. Trendy baby. And it's uh, a, it's a three light. So, yeah, it's pretty much a three. Eh, I don't know, maybe even a, it's not too bad. And uh, it is approximately 250 yards and 100%, it says anti-pilling acrylic. So I don't know the difference between the anti-pilling acrylic or the non-anti-pilling acrylic, but it is pretty. It's like a, you can see a little blue, a little yellow, uh, light blue, darker blue, and then it goes into like a yellow. Um, so that's kind of pretty. And I love the bag. Look at the bag. It's kind of really nice. So, And there's four of those. So there's a thousand yards, basically. A thousand yards. So the pattern is a ripple crochet pattern. Um, so it calls for a size 7 hook. Oh, no, four, four and a half um or a half millimeter hook, which is fine. The uh, the color is called Bouncing Blue. So that's kind of cute. Now, I think I told you in my first episode, I uh, have a brand new, brand new granddaughter. Um, she's three months old, my little Rosalind. Um, and um, my step, through my stepson, I have a granddaughter who's four, and, and that's Peyton, and a, gra a grandson who is one years old. He is... Uh, Jute Michael. Now, I already made them all blankets. In fact, I think I made Peyton three different blankets. Michael's only got one and has a Toronto Maple Leaf. It's, an, uh, it's a graph can, which is really cool. I might, I'll post a picture of it on the, uh, on this video at the end, um, which is really cool. And then Rosalind already has two blankets. So I'm not sure who I'm going to make this for. I'll have to think about it. And I'm, I have to tell you, I'm not crazy about the Ripple blanket. I used to do, that was like one of my very, very first blankets that I ever made when I started knitting, I don't know, when I was like 15, 14, 15, I made a Ripple blanket. I think one of my sons still has it in his, his apartment. Um, so I don't know. I'm not sure I'm going to use this pattern. You have to, I don't know, let me know what you think. Um... It's all right. I mean, it's pretty. It's cute. I'll just have to wait till someone else has a baby, I think. Um, anyway, we'll see. It's really cute. So, um, 
yeah so that's it for my merry maxim opening of yarn my very very first subscription um so I already told you how much I paid, and um, I think it's kind of a rip-off considering that they're shipping from Canada, two hours east of their offices. I'm going to send them, I think I'm going to send them a harshly worded email. I'm going to send them a note just saying, like, why are you paying? I'm getting charged $12 in, in um, mailing. And they even send it through Canada Post. Like, it's, it's sent through Canada Post, which, you know, is our national Canadian uh, postal service and it also is my February 19 which they mailed on they say oh no I ordered it February 6 and they mailed it doesn't say when they mailed it but and I just got it on March 4th or Mar yesterday March 3rd so that's kind of weird anyway we'll see what March brings right um, so I'll let you know in my next video, whether I'm actually going to, I, I, I'm going to have to think about it. I, I'm not crazy about the ripple blanket and I really, I don't have any boys to knit for at the moment. So I have to see if anybody's pregnant or has a, having a boy at work. And I don't know, four, four of these balls isn't going to make a very big, I mean, it'll be a tiny baby blanket, right? So anyway. So again, um, just wanted to show you my Mary Maxim opening. Again, thank you, Rose, for the shout out. Um, that was really cool. And thank you for all my new subscribers. Now, I'm at, as of an hour ago, I was at 90 subscribers. Um, I am going to do a 100 subscriber giveaway. So check in. I'll do another video on Saturday. And um, so check on in and I will show you what will be in my 100 subscriber giveaway. So thanks everyone for watching. And um, what did I do with my, I don't know what I did. Anyway, thanks everyone for watching. We'll talk to you soon. Bye. Ciao. Mm -hmm.